Let's discuss with our CN national political reporter, Maeve Reston, and CNN political commentator, Errol Lewis. Uh, Maeve, uh, when you see the governor uh, suddenly doing a bunch of national TV interviews, including he'll be on the lead with Jake Tapper later today, when you see that ad, uh, that tells me the governor is a candidate, uh, that he understands uh, his opponents are likely, at least he must believe, going to get enough signatures to have a recall election, and he's at it. He is, John, and it's such a, a shift in strategy from what uh, we've seen over the last couple of months. Obviously, when the recall effort uh, got going last year, uh, he completely ignored it. And then when it picked up steam, particularly over the holidays, when he had put in a, set, a second set of stay-at-home orders that angered a lot of people, um, he would sort of answer questions about the recall by brushing them off and defending his leadership and uh, during the pandemic. But now he, this is a media blitz like nothing that we have seen over uh, the last two days. Um, and what it tells you is that the recall most likely will qualify and that they know that there's significant risk here. Um, California is one of those states where it's very easy to get a recall on the ballot. It's a lot harder to actually recall a governor, particularly because of uh, the the Democrats vastly outnumber Republicans here, but this is a more broad-based effort uh, than those those ads are making it out to be. Um, and they know that they really have to tell their side of the story and try to define the narrative at this pivotal moment here, John. And Errol, Maeve is right. It is easier to get on the ballot than it is to actually then actually recall the governor. But this is the process uh, that sent Gray Davis packing and brought us Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, back in the day as governor of California. So you can see that Newsom is taking it seriously because he remembers that history. Uh, this is just his way. Uh, he's getting help, if you will, from progressives. Elizabeth Warren in a naked partisan power grab. Extreme right wing Republicans are trying to recall Gavin Newsom. Why? Because he dares to listen to scientists and fights to put power in the hands of working people. Let's have Gavin back. Cory Booker, my friend Gavin Newsom, has been a leader throughout this crisis. Now an unpopular partisan recall will waste critical taxpayer dollars when they're needed most. Stop the recall. Again, that tells me this is somebody who's trying to mobilize the progressive base of the Democratic Party, A, to help him raise money now, and B, to potentially turn out votes if he needs them. Absolutely. And uh, that progressive base, by the way, is not where his, his problem is. The problem, of course, is with not just the extremists, and I assume that they do exist, so I guess the ads aren't entirely inaccurate, but there are a lot of people who are not happy about how the wildfire crisis was handled. They're not happy about how the pandemic crisis was handled. Uh, they're not happy about the lockdowns. They're not happy about a lot of different things. There are a lot of very California-specific uh, issues that have generated uh, some controversy beyond just uh, the far right. I'll give you one example. Uh, California just voted a few weeks ago uh, to give $600 uh, pandemic uh, relief uh, dollars to undocumented immigrants. Now, you know, I live in a heavily immigrant community here in New York City. We wouldn't think twice about that. But that doesn't necessarily sit well with everybody. And some taxpayers out there are upset about it. So he's going to have to wage a much broader campaign if he hopes to get past this. Let's keep in mind, he is upside down in the polls right now. His unfavorables are slightly higher than his favorables. So he's got a real fight on his hands.